back to the Reading FC career mode. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, this game is so broken, it's funny. Uh, today we play Wolves, and then Man City, we play twice. <laughs> Why? Why is this game so bad? Wolves of Man City. How much money do I have in the bank? Not much. Uh, let's say that. I don't, I don't think we can actually buy anyone because we're... Yeah. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I'm only doing a 74. I've done that. Like, I've done that. So that's just wrong. Salary, I mean, I've t 27% is not bad. Uh, Premier League, we're, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then increase to go on about 10%. I mean, that, that should be doable. Uh, yeah, no. We'll, we'll start off away at more than you, obviously, in this episode. Uh, everyone's quite exhausted, so we'll rotate. Uh... See what we can do. We could go year dom. If I put Fabinho there, and then go Ampadu there, and then go Sigurds Sigurds and slow though. As our we won't go all off. We'll go. Well, we'll go junior. Sure, 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 sure. Yamas. And Bappe, but we'll take him off. And Sam, that works for me. Come on, you ours. Let's do this. Here we go. Molyneux. Home of Wolves. Obviously a decent... Premier League side in real life, and they've got John Joe Shelby, which I would rate considerably highly as a Wolves signing. We should beat them, but we are rotated, so just as long as we keep our unbeaten season going, I'm happy. Come on, you ours. Ball up the line, Raheem Sterling. What a ball! What a goal! Oh, we needed something special to break the deadlock. And we have done. Run over to the Reading fans in that stand and celebrate in style. Great ball up the line. Sterling with a low drilled cross. He's come off the bench. And Junior just about squeezes it in. It's Reading 1, Wolverhampton Wanderers nil. We've been knocking on the door. We've just not been great. I can't believe so many Reading fans are in the stadium. Uh, and yeah, 1 nil. Time to push on. Give it away. Oh no. Oh no. Mina, that's not a good decision on my behalf. And uh, Wolves have an equaliser. It's it's not been a dominant performance by us, so I don't know whether you'd say it was deserved, but I can understand that they've scored in this game. But they might be allowed to concede, and they have conceded straight from kickoff. Vinicius Junior at the double. I thought we were going to drop points there for a second, but we are back on top. It was a nice bit of play. Vinicius fires it in. You know, when we don't have our elite playing, it can be quite difficult. But, you know, we'll have them all back for Man City, I hope. And uh, that should be a win. That's a m mistake. That's a big mistake. We've been sliced apart by Wolves here. Van Dijk with a big challenge, but not big enough. Ho oh. ho. Wow, okay, this, this game is uh, exploding into life. Ball up the line, pole in front of goal. Sterling! Oh, it's running free, Wolverhampton Wanderers won. What a game! We almost conceded up the other end to make it 2-0. Come down the other end and a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant goal. 
a team move as we pass it across the box. Sobol's pace. And then I was keeping up with Raheem Sterling, who can apply the finish. And it's Reading 3, Wolves 1. Sterling's come on and changed the game, which doesn't happen too often. Balling behind a Sobol is perfect. Cuts it back. Sterling! That is the Raheem Sterling we know. <laughs> Utterly woeful. But we've secured three points in Wolves. First game of the day, so perhaps I was a bit rusty. Yeah, they didn't deserve to win. It was a fun game, though. It was a good game. And uh, Villa have beaten Everton. So, yeah. Not bad. Now, on to Man City. Uh, I am looking forward to that game. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how it goes for us. Righty over then, Manchester City at the Etihad. It's going to be a difficult game. Two games in a week here. Uh, but we are at full strength, which is nice. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a second before we jump ahead. There is someone in our youth academy by the name of Thomas Kilcher, who looks pretty decent. But he's 18 and he. <laughs> oh no! Oh, bugger! Okay, but it's fine. We have such a big squad, it's bloody terrible. But, but we can do this. Uh, come on, you all, let's just focus on beating Man City, shall we? Here we go. We all love a big top-of-the-table clash, and we have one against the mighty Man City. Just, are, they are probably our bogey team in this series. We've struggled against them quite a few times. We did thrash them in a cup final, though. No one's really had it over, over us, I don't think. But let's just see how we can do here. Big game to protect our unbeaten season. Come on. Oh, no, it's 1-0. Christian Eriksen, I do believe. No, not Eriksen. De Bruyne. Bloody hell, that's some midfield, isn't it? Uh, Kevin De Bruyne makes it 1-0 to Man City. We've barely even touched the ball, so... Yeah. We've touched it now, though, and so close to an opening goal for the Royals. Van Dijk! Buries it! Instant reply! Virgil van Dijk up from the back to head it home. It was Fekir with the ball in. High looping. And our oh, defender should do better. Turns the wrong way. And it's Reading 1, Man City 1. Electric start here at the Etihad. Ball played in. Now is Mbappe. Loops it towards the back post. Martial! Reading 2, Man City 1. What a brilliant header by the Frenchman. It was a good ball through to Mbappe. I decided to cross. It was a great cross. Martial unmarked. A perfect header because he, he sends it back where it came from, which is exactly what you need to do as a forward attacking the ball in the air like that and uh, yeah it's 2-1 to Reading we've turned it around after a quite a poor start and re releases Fabinho gets it to Mbappe ball through to Jan Feyertarp oh this is dangerous that's really dangerous Reading 3 Man City 1 Jan Feyertarp now that he's a bit quicker these days he is so dangerous especially you know, when he's got that much space and time. And with his finishing, he just needs to... He, we just need to tap circle, really. Flies in the back of the net. Brilliant, brilliant goal. I'm absolutely chuffed with that. 24 minutes in, four goals. Did anyone say Man City Tottenham? Uh, let's just keep going. This is, this is going quite well. Oh, hits it. Oh, what a brilliant strike on the left foot, Jan Fertop. 
Reading running riot in Manchester. And an absolutely gorgeous goal. Laid it off. Arp took the touch. Picks out the bottom corner. One of the greatest footballers of all time, Jan Feyertarp, now I would assume. Because it's Reading 4, Manchester City 1. Martial to the right of Messi. Can he pass it back? Yes, he can. Messi! Reading 5, Man City 1. Oh, what a performance. Well, it's a, it's an episode of two games, really. Uh... Wolves, we really struggle, but once we've got all our first teamers back, it's just perfect. Absolute liquid football at times, and we lead 5-1. I love this team, we're so overpowered, and you know, this is liquid FIFA, liquid football. Absolute genius. Arp. Oh, that's gorgeous. Martial, oh, what a goal! I was just talking about liquid football. Oh, that is, that is, that is air particle football. That, that, you cannot define the flowing of that. Bloody hell. What a brilliant, brilliant ball by Jan Feyertarp. He's having one of his best performances for us, and that's saying something. Reading six, Man City one. Oh, what a half! Here's Messi. Oh, Mbappe. Brilliant. Oh, Sandro! Alexandro of all people. Reading 7, Man City 1. What a comeback. That was so unlucky, but Alexandro, possibly his first goal of the season. Scored quite a few because he was playing as an inverted fullback last year, but this season, you know, he's, he's not really contributed as much in terms of scoring, but he's got a decent one there. Should have scored the header, though. It is Reading 7-man City 1. There's the whistle. Oh, the second half wasn't quite as good as the first, but we managed to... Uh, Managed to do the best that we possibly could. There were so many chances in this game for both sides. This wasn't a one-sided game as it always is. Though the scoreline would suggest it was quite dominant. Uh, it was very 50-50, I'd say. And, uh, you know, you've got to fight. We did fight. And uh, now, FA Cup in the next episode. Palace and then the first leg against Valencia. Pretty big episode in terms of the Cups. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then. Cheerio.